International peacebuilding policies have often used political settlements among elites in a conflict as an incentive to them to lay down arms and govern together. But these settlements do not guarantee stopping the violence. Violence can be direct, which is the physical harm of armed activity, or it can be structural, such as the harm caused to people because of corruption. Much peacebuilding focuses on direct violence, while little focus is put on structural violence. But structural violence can be greater in both frequency and impact. In Iraq, a post-2003 identity-based power-sharing settlement ensured most parts of the country have experienced less direct violence. But this settlement has been responsible for other forms of violence, stemming from elite groups controlling state resources and a lack of accountability. An example of this is corruption in healthcare, which harms Iraqi citizens through the prevalence of fake and expired medicines. In Lebanon, the ethno-sectarian power-sharing settlement, agreed at the end of the civil war in 1990, still provides the basis for governing the country. Although Lebanon has not witnessed large-scale direct violence since the end of the war, the siphoning off of resources as part of an elite pact has significantly harmed daily life such as the rubbish crisis of 2015, the financial crisis which began in 2019, and the deadly blast in the Beirut port in 2020. Each of these harmed people's health and their financial and physical capital. In Libya, a post-2014 elite bargain has proved durable and presides over a declining state, but the scale of the structural violence is notable and growing. Libyans are contending with nearly absent public services price inflation and struggling banking services, getting less for more. The societies of Libya, Iraq and Lebanon all demonstrate that, in addition to tackling direct violence, international policymakers must develop strategies to transform elite bargains into accountable political systems.